Hey everyone, I decided to do a CarPlay video on how to remove and add CarPlay step by step. So this is my iPhone, which is connected to my Android head unit. This is the V3. Um, right now, our CarPlay is loaded. And as you see, I can use CarPlay uh, regularly. So we want to remove CarPlay, delete, and then reinstall. To be able to do that, you do not touch your head unit ever. Do not touch your head unit second time. Third time, do not touch your head unit. Everything is done through the phone. So first, let's start by forgetting um, the phone through CarPlay, which is CarPlay. Forget this device. So the moment that I did that, you saw how it disconnected. Now, let's go back to the basics of the unit. <clears throat> your CarPlay is your T-Link, which is built in in the T3, uh, T10 V3, which was um, since the T9. So the T9, the T10 V1, T10 version 2, T10 version 3, every, every single unit has a built-in CarPlay. This is your CarPlay. Do not delete this. It's a built-in wireless CarPlay. From your phone, you don't touch neither Wi-Fi nor nothing. The first thing you want to do is, that's how we disconnected um, CarPlay from the phone. You go to your Bluetooth. My phone is already synced, so I need to remove this to sync my phone again. I click on it, delete, delete all paired records. Okay. Now everything is gone from my phone. You don't see the head unit, you don't see the phone, you see nothing. The best option to do is turn off Bluetooth, restart your phone, grab the iPhone pin, SIM pin, remover, close all apps with the pin, one click. Do not use a screwdriver. Do not use a pen. This is how you reset your head unit. At the time that the unit starts, at the same time, restart your phone, fresh start. That's how you power cycle the head unit. That's how you power cycle your phone. You restart your phone. Once your phone is up and running, we're going to set up CarPlay again. Once it's ready, restarted, clean start, we're going to set up Bluetooth and CarPlay again. So... Right now, you do not touch your head unit. That's your Bluetooth. There's nothing on there. You go to your phone. You click on your Bluetooth. You turn it on. Car kit blink comes up. Again, this is for the built-in wireless CarPlay with your T10 V3. You click on it. It asks you a pin. You enter four zeros. If it's not four zeros, I don't know what you have put a pin. You've changed the, the pin to your phone. So you can put one, two, three, four or anything you set it up as. You click pair. It says pair successful. Now it's connected. 
Now your phone comes up on your head unit. You do not touch the head unit. I suggest for the first time setup, do not pair, do not pair your uh, contacts, which is not here. It's a different uh, in CarPlay. So now it's since it's connected, Topway is a different uh, Bluetooth. It's for OBD2s. We're not going to talk about it in this video. So we're pairing CarPlay right now. You don't, you don't touch the head unit. After you finish setting up, now you can make calls um, on your head unit, which is connected. Bienvenue chez Fizz. Il y a plusieurs façons. So now we know how to set up the Bluetooth on the phone, uh, on the head unit. Now we're gonna set up CarPlay. We go to T-Link, click on T-Link, it's connecting, popped up. I'm not touching my phone, I didn't disconnect anything or I didn't connect anything yet. It says use CarPlay with T-Link. See, it took me for a while, it disappeared. So watch it, pay attention to that guys. Okay, it, it disappeared because it took me a long time. So now I'm gonna do it again. We're gonna close T-Link. We're gonna open it again. <clears throat> Hopefully it's gonna pop up again because that was the handshake and it took me for a long time um, to answer if to use CarPlay or not. No harm done. We can go manually to settings, CarPlay, and then click manually on CarKit Blink to be able to connect um, CarPlay. So now it's, it's asking me again. It's connecting CarPlay. Make sure Bluetooth is connected. Use CarPlay. Don't take a lot of time to click OK on that. So now my phone is connected to the head unit. And this is how easy it is to connect CarPlay. Apart from that, you're doing something wrong. Follow my video to the dot. You will have no issues at all. This is, again, for the third time, the built-in CarPlay, wireless CarPlay in the head unit. This is not the dongle. We are not using the dongle. This is an extra accessory which is capable of doing wired and wireless CarPlay. Why do people choose this as an extra accessory? Because they have two, three phones. His wife goes in, your wife, your girlfriend, your friend, your boyfriend goes in and wants to connect to the CarPlay. Two, three CarPlays are not preferably in one truck. So then they purchase this to use wired CarPlay, which connects to the bottom of your OEM USB. So saying this, we're using wireless CarPlay. We're gonna do another video on the wired wireless dongle, which I spoke about, because I see a lot of people um, buying this dongle, which they don't need it. So I wanted to take the time to do the video. So now CarPlay works. In CarPlay, General, CarPlay, T-Link. You can customize anything you want. How your apps look over here. This is how you customize it. Remove prioritize so I didn't touch anything I didn't turn on Wi-Fi I didn't disconnect or connect Wi-Fi if you do this you connect Wi-Fi it's gonna ask you it's gonna disconnect from CarPlay and this is most of the time this is what an error you do with all the members I've seen that why is CarPlay disconnecting? It's because of this, because you connect to another network and CarPlay disconnects. It uses um, like a hotspot to connect to it. 
that's when people buy this because they want to use the same time data on the v3 and carplay at the same time which i do not suggest highly do not suggest doing that so this is the dongle you want to use it apart same time data same time carplay then buy the dongle if not you want to use wireless carplay keep stick with the head unit so i don't want to disconnect now we're gonna try something else so under general, T-Link, disconnected CarPlay, disconnected. Want to connect it back. There's a setting which says wireless CarPlay auto connect. If I click this on, it's going to auto connect every time I go into my truck. So I'm going to turn it off. Open the door. Crank the truck. So what I did is, I turned on wireless CarPlay Auto Connect. Because I'm still connected to, through the previous connection, it's gonna take a longer time. To avoid that, if you have hiccups, what you do is you go to T-Link, turn off CarPlay, turn it back on, go out, you give the order to the phone to connect with the head unit. If that fails, after waiting for a long time, and if it doesn't connect, simply you just click reset. I haven't started my phone yet. Remember guys, this is CarPlay iOS stuff. It is not the, hand, the, the head unit, it is not Android. So what's happening is there's a handshake in between the phone and the head unit. It's, um, let me put it this way. It is networking 101. So now that the head unit restarted and um, I'm connected to the phone, what happened is because I restarted the head unit, my unit connected to my home Wi-Fi. So if you see right there, I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi. And some of you may have this situation that it's connected to your home Wi-Fi and it's connecting via CarPlay, it's not connecting. And you tell me you didn't touch anything. Obviously, because it's automatically connecting to the better Wi-Fi, right? This is the CarPlay hotspot that is automatically connected. You guys saw how it disconnected itself from the home Wi-Fi and it connected, and it connected it's trying to connect to the to the CarPlay. That's because it's doing the handshake. And since now my Wi-Fi home Wi-Fi is stronger, it's covering up on the on the connection. It's not letting the truck, the, the head unit, talk to the to my phone to connect to CarPlay. So in this case, what you need to do is turn off Wi-Fi, log out. It's connecting, turn on Wi-Fi, log out. And this is all, I'm doing it on purpose to show you how some of you have um, misconception of the networking, one-on-one networking with CarPlay. So now I have to go back to General, CarPlay, T-Link, turn it off, turn it back on. Once I do that, it sends a signal to communicate with CarPlay again. And if everything fails, I didn't touch the head unit, I'm gonna turn off my phone, turn off the truck, restart the truck, Restart my phone. Make sure the app is closed, like I did, like so. Once my phone restarts again, click on the apps.
my phone is restarted you restart keylink and since I set it up to connect automatically <clears throat> CarPlay T-Link on off waiting for the handshake most of you have this situation this issue the one of the main reasons is because the connection is messed up and it's not connecting and you keep playing with the head unit do not do not touch the head unit it's your phone it's carplay it may do it with an oem it may do it with an alpine thousand five hundred dollar uh, uh, paper brick uh, it may do it with a sony so you have to be patient with the now it's connected with the handshake. You have to understand how networking works. Unfortunately, Carpe was created to trick the system, the OEM systems into embedding your phone into the OEM head unit. This is not the best way. Some people love it, some people hate it. I use it sometimes because it's quick and if I don't wanna uh, use data from my uh, head unit I use CarPlay so there you go guys this is how to set up CarPlay this is when you have situations and issues with CarPlay um, you can go to your settings change the wallpaper you can um, use Spotify you can use and by the way it uses your phone's data eh? it doesn't use your sim or data plan from any provider once you have CarPlay, it uses your, your phone's data. So you don't need a SIM card to use CarPlay. You can use Waze. Listen, when it works, it's, it's nice. It's nice to have, specifically on the V3 because of the format of the screen. So I hope this video helps a lot of people that are having CarPlay issues. Um, if you ever need anything, links are at the bottom. I'm gonna put add the link of the dongle. I'm gonna add the link of the V3 head unit uh, for the Toyota 4Runner. And um, if you have any other, if you want any other head unit, talk to me. Um, I do have access to all head units, definitely, but it's mostly Toyotas, Tundras, Tacomas, Tacomas, and uh, uh, RAV4s, uh, Corollas, uh, any Toyota you want, I'm your man. Apart from that, uh, YouTube music works. Um, haven't touched my phone yet. I can put my phone, hide it, you know. I don't need to use it, to use my phone. Um, my steering wheel uh, con controls it. Volume works. Next, previous, up, down works. Um, that's the music I hear, that's my mix. So I click next on the steering wheel, it works. There you go, guys. I hope this uh, this helps you out. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to contact me. This is a video on CarPlay built-in wireless for the T-Series or mostly any Android unit, but I don't know what's the le legitimacy of the other units. This is a paid, registered, licensed CarPlay within the T-Series from CarTrim Home and from my links. A reminder to everybody, make sure you use my links. Always send me the order numbers. The links are in the description. Thank you for the support. I love you all. Take care.